Hello everybody and welcome on board this Moody for a look around her interior to give you an idea of her layout, how her space flows and if you think you might like her. So as you can see I'm standing at the forward end of the saloon looking aft towards a companionway and we'll just start talking about the companionway. So as you can see very high we've got a really really high freeboard on this boat so we're quite low down in the boat here so consequently we have quite a long fairly steep ladder. Now the, uh, the companionway is nice and easy to get through but we need to be okay with those steps obviously. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I will start aft at the back end of the boat or towards the stern and I'll work my way forward. So we'll just go through the tunnel here to the aft cabin. That was a, a little bit of a stoop for me. I'm five foot nine. I'd assess it's probably about five feet. And then once you're in here, of course, the uh, the headroom reverts to normal. In fact, it's really quite high here. I'm nowhere near the ceiling, which is great. So as you can see, we have a really lovely aft double cabin. Looks like we have a proper mattress here. We've got a mattress topper as well. I'm sure there'll be storage beneath that too we have storage either side uh sorry to this side and the back i'm not sure about behind the headboard there but we have a big shelf behind we have uh, two large windows to port and starboard and we have a nice little opening hatch in the transom which i really love because that's going to give you some really nice fresh air really close to where you're lying there in bed uh, very close to the fan as well so this boat has one or two fans dotted around so she really has seen the world i think there are just these little clues that show that she's a sailor's boat and she's been all over the place we have a hatch here inset into the the deck head so we've got light and ventilation there and possibly escape too and of course uh, all the cur all the windows I believe have got curtains so uh, all nice and private should you want that no problem uh, on the starboard side here you can see we've got a couple of really really nice tall cupboards there so for your longer garments etc and then on the forward bulkhead you can see we have a nice big mirror and we have a little vanity unit there with a shelf and drawers and cupboards beneath two very nice indeed just to give you an idea there's the head height there's me hello uh, there's a head height uh, just as we pop underneath to go out and forward but before we do that let's have a little look through this door here and we find the ensuite so quite a compact bijou uh suite but uh plenty of room in here to do what you need to do on the left hand side or the aft we have uh, a basin with hot and cold running water. Nice window here, so it does feel nice and light in here. And of course, in the head compartments on this boat, we do have the original moody decor. So a bit vintagey. Some will love, some won't, but uh, it's fairly easily remedied actually with modern materials if you did want to change it. But uh, you'd obviously be then changing the character of the boat. But that might be up to you. The heads there is if you're sitting there, you'll be facing to starboard. Um, now I like the fact that we're, we're quite closed in here, so if you're in a seaway, you're going to be able to brace uh, either side there. I think. We have cupboards underneath the work surface there. We have a cupboard set on top of the work surface and a shelf and a fiddle shelf on top. And we have a proper shower there with a nice mixing unit. So we're uh, all very good. So we're uh, all mod cons apparently in this bathroom or head compartment in the aft cabin. Great. Okay, so let's uh, move forward slightly. So as I mentioned, so we have a, a small step here, which takes us a couple of inches down and then a bit of a stoop to go underneath. And uh, as we go through there, we'll see we've got uh, one, of, one of the biggest hanging lockers I've ever seen, or this could be construed as a very large wardrobe. That's the, the turn of bills there. To our left, we have the engine compartment. So in there, we've got the engine and uh, lots and lots of room around it. So great for the engineers. We can get to all the fuel pump uh, pipe work. Uh, the batteries are in there too. And uh, carrying on forward on the right-hand side here, you can see we have a cupboard that's uh, given over to uh, solar power controllers, etc. Two big solar panels sitting on the, uh, the, I call it the radar arch, but the frame at the back of the boat on the, uh, uh, on the stern. And uh, on the left-hand side here, as we move even further forwards, more cupboards, more drawers, etc. And on the right-hand side, that brings us to the galley so i'll just pop out into the full head height and take a quick look at that so you can see we've got a linear unit runs fore and aft on the outboard side or the starboard side and uh generally i think you could do everything there you needed to so we have a cooker here with two burners um we've got a, an oven underneath as well and we've got storage underneath we've got a twin sink unit so that's really handy for washing and drying at sea so you can wash put everything in there to dry or drip dry without it sloshing all over the place or falling onto the floor uh, room for plates, bowls, etc. behind the sink and also more storage storage here for whatever you'd like to put in there. But certainly cups would go in there. Very good, hey? Nice big windows here, coupled with a couple with a hatch and the companion away makes it nice and light down here, despite the darker wood. And we've got varying hues of wood down here. Now, this boat has 
been around for a while. She's uh, she feels part vintage, but she's also got loads of lovely new touches. But there are, you know, you can obviously see where things have been changed or amended or maintained in the past. And there are a few bits that could benefit from improvement, but they look like cosmetics to me. But we'll see those as we go around. So just keep a weather eye on those. Now, going forwards from the galley, you can see here we've got a lovely big work surface on top of what I would assess to be a very recent nice fridge freezer. So open sesame plenty of room in there it feels nice and cold we've got a nice little uh, freezer compartment there as well so that is going to help you on your longer journeys no doubt i'm not sure if that's uh, 12 or 240 volts uh, we will find out though um forward of that you can see we've got the navigation station now this is great because uh, it's in the middle of the boat effectively or on the starboard side but kind of midships forward and aft but it's part of the saloon so you're not feeling separated so if you're not using it as a nav station you can easily sit here uh, or you can use a nav station as your drinks cabinet etc etc although please keep them away from your paper charts obviously if you're using them on the outboard side here you can see we've got more cupboards more stowage etc we've got a uh, handheld radio we've got all sorts of bits and pieces hanging on here you can just see the lloyd's register uh mark there too and then the forward of the nav station we've got all the nav gear that's down here so we've got a nice bng um uh, dsc unit it's a dsc vhf unit we've got a microwave here which is a really useful addition on a boat like this of course and uh, there are 240 but there, there are twin 240 volt sockets all around the boat and there are lots of usb chargers as well so i uh, should keep the kids happy with their phones etc and uh, there we can see we've got uh, the distribution board we've got a couple of electrical panels there and just whizzing around up here we've got a radio telex here we've got uh nav techs here a couple of uh Bilge pump um, operating on auto, manual and uh, alarms, etc. for the two electrical bilge pumps. We have uh, AIS radar up there and uh, the battery monitor. And I can't make out what that, that's uh, some kind of rim, uh, inverter controller underneath there. But uh, lots of like, nice bits and pieces to keep this boat going electrically and all very easy and easy to reach and at hand. Very nice. So turning around and looking on the port side here, we can see we've got uh, where probably a lot of people will be spending a a lot of their time on board really lovely saloon area so we've got u-shaped seating all the way around really really lovely saloon table love that i don't think it's the original uh, correct me if i'm wrong but that goes up and down too you can see we have stereo speakers here and here there are speakers all over this boat there's some in the cockpit too more sockets etc we, we have a heating outlet and the floor looks nice too it's worn but uh, not um, excessively at all you know it's uh, I, I don't think that would even benefit from being refurbed or anything i think it's fine a uh, little bit of carpet lay through there too and uh, upholstery looks good i'm sure we have stories beneath uh, and possibly behind these cushions too and if you look on the after bulkhead we've got a clock and a barometer on the forward bulkhead we have a clock another clock and a hygrometer this picture is not going in the boat by the way it's a very dear picture that that uh, came through the owner's family um but uh, really nice area we have stowage outboard there on the port side and uh, very nice high headroom i'd say that this is probably about six foot two six foot three in the middle obviously it comes down a little bit with the roll of the coach roof we have a hatch here for lighting ventilation a couple of other ventilators too spot down lighting also generally a nice place to be and of course anybody sitting here doing whatever they're doing can easily communicate with the galley which is uh, just straight over here we can pass things backwards and forwards too and uh everything just flows rather nicely and of course the galley is just down and inside from the companionway there so nice and easy to pass stuff up pass stuff down and uh, we just have a little receiving area or another chopping area uh to put our bits and pieces on there too really like it so looking forwards we can now uh, just carry on to the rest of the boat so another little corridor here small step down and enables a higher headroom in here so i'm not stooping to get under this even though it does go down so that's good uh, on the left hand side so the port side here is the entrance with a sliding door through to the pullman cabin so pullman means, means we have bunk beds and at the aft end you can see we've got a nice uh, cabinet here with a, with cupboards and a drawer very good a fiddle shelf and we've got two nice long comfortable looking nice wide berths with the uh, storage beneath the bottom one by the looks of it and uh, we also have uh, reading light on the top one i didn't see one on the bottom one looking along the uh, length of the cabin you can see we have a nice window here hatch there for light and ventilation we've got coat hooks galore and a really good set of uh, shelves there for all of your bits and pieces while you're undertaking your voyage 
top stuff. So uh, coming out of this cabin and uh, straight across, if we open this door, we come to the forward heads compartment, which is very, very similar in decor to the aft heads compartment, just a slightly different layout. We have a manual head here. Uh, we have a window up here with a, a sliding door covered beneath, a small sink in the starboard aft corner and another shower with a mixer tap there. Pretty good, hey? Very nice. And that toilet will be facing aft if you're sitting there. So close the door on that and we'll move forward into the forward cabin. And as you can see, we're configured as we walk past this wardrobe here. We're configured uh, with a full double berth here. This uh, this looks like an infill and I'm sure that will pull out and allow you to put that to one side and have two singles with feet meeting in the middle and a little bit more space to uh, get changed in. We have fiddle shelves, port and starboard, we've got windows port and starboard, a nice big hatch over the top as well and of course a couple of shelves where we have a shelf here and a step up to that hatch should we need to get out via that way. So all good and plenty of room for a couple to sleep in style and comfort and I think these are probably aftermarket uh, proper cushions as well rather than the original thin ones that uh, sometimes give you the, the aching elbows and aching hips. So that is uh, the interior of this Moody. She feels vintage. She's got vintage features. She's smattered all over the place with nice modern stuff as well. There are bits and pieces that, that I think uh, around here that could be uh, could be improved, but uh, it looks largely cosmetic to me. But she does feel incredibly solid. She does feel big. She feels high. And she feels like a, the kind of boat that I might choose to uh, take me on those long cruises and expect her to look after me a little bit better than possibly some of the modern, more lightweight stuff. So if you think you might like, just go to boatshedbrighton.com for lots more pictures, videos and virtual reality. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.